First Baptist Church of Kimberling City presents a fresh look with fresh starts. Good morning, church. Good to see you this Wednesday morning. Welcome to another fresh start to a fresh day. Hey, listen, church, what I want to talk to you about today is what gives you safety and security. You know, so often we have a tendency to place our safety and security in just things that are incredibly fallible, things that are temporary, right? Things that are, are given but also taken away. So it's important that we realize that so often we have a tendency to place all our hope and our trust in things like politics or things like a president or a government or money or, or a job or, or family or a house or our surroundings, those kind of things. And in, in, in reality, God wants us to place our protection, our hope, our strength, our security in Him. You see here in Psalms 91, David speaking here, he says, the one who lives under the protection of the Most High dwells in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say concerning the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He Himself will rescue you. You see, David, man, that what a testimony could say this um, without a shadow of a doubt, right? He experienced these things from the time he was a, a young lad, a young boy, and he was a shepherd. He had to deal with the threats of the lions and those things, those wolves that were coming upon his herd, that were coming to attack and, and to take away and to steal and destroy his, his, his sheep. But yet David had to be, like I talked about ye yesterday, a watchman. He had to be at the ready. Ready to protect that which God had placed, that which his father had placed in his stead. He also learned what it was like to, to place his safety and security in the Lord in his battle with Goliath. Right? We've seen that where, where all the men, the soldiers of Israel, were, were lined up and they were looking down upon the Philistine, but yet... As the Philistine was mocking them, not one of them, not even the king, King Saul, would, would stand up and, and take charge against that Philistine. But yet David, this young shepherd boy, who Saul wanted to adore, adorn with his, his armor, uh, was willing to attack. And, you know, as we know the story and how it goes, that, that, that armor didn't fit David. David knew that his protection wasn't in the armor of Saul, but was in that which God had given him, his spirit, right? And David placed all his trust in him, knowing that God would go before him. He even made that declaration that God would go before him and he would allow his hand to slay that giant. So his trust and his hope was in the Lord, not in man. He also showed us that in you know, even in his struggles in his kingdom, when, when he received a call to be the king of Israel, that, that Saul would no longer be the king. And as Saul got this news, he didn't take that uh, very well, and he tried to pursue and to kill David. But David continued to, to act like a true man of God, trusting in God through each and every situation. And like I said, his word reveals that. It wasn't that David had struggles that, or didn't have struggles and he didn't have doubts. I mean, even we see in the fallacy of, of who he was, you know, even in his struggles with adultery, you know, the things that came about afterwards and in his time of mourning, his time of loss, how he knew that the only way that he could receive healing, that he can receive restoration, that he can receive once again safety and security was in the Lord. So on this fresh start to this fresh day, church, I'm just saying, place your hope and your trust in the Lord. Allow Him to be your safety and security. Allow Him to be the one that provides your refuge and your strength. Church, I love you. Enjoy this beautiful day that the Lord has made. Enjoy this fresh start. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share Fresh Start. Fresh Start is a ministry of First Baptist Church, Kimberling City.